Well, hello everybody and happy Saturday. It is Saturday, August 12th, 2023 at noon Eastern time. So welcome everybody. How are you guys doing today? It is a hot one today. So hot. I went out and mowed the grass this morning and uh, I tried to get out there early, like 8.30 and um, it was already almost 80 degrees when I started and even hotter when I finished. <laughs> so I'm still sitting here covered in sweat. So <laughs> I didn't have time to cool off and take a shower. So luckily you don't have smell a vision at your house. So you can't uh, see how disgusting I smell. <laughs> so I hope you guys are having an awesome Saturday so far. Hey, Katie. Hey, Esther. Hey, Diane. Hey, Sharon. Hey, Julie. Hey, Sherry, finally made it to the live. Um, I'm so glad you're here. Hey, Judith. Hey, John. Hey, uh, Marie. Hey, Linda. Hey, Cynthia. Hey, Carol. Wow, everybody's popping on now. It's going so fast. <laughs> hey, Linda. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Ann. Hey, Donna. Hey, Rebecca. Hey, Bobby. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Deborah. Oh, we got a lot of Debbies today again. Hey, Esther. Ew. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I was sitting here going, dang, I need a shower. <laughs> but I didn't think I'd have time to get do it, get back to start the video. So I'm holding on, holding on. Hi from getting hot Eugene over three digits starting Monday. I know we were doing really well for a few days. It was like down in the low 80s and then now it's back in the upper 90s again. So it's just so hot. I'm ready for fall, I think. Hey, Honeybee Stamping Hive. Hey, Brian. Oh, hey, Twyla. I was going to say, hey, Brian, but that's Twyla. Hey, Laura. Hey, Gail. Regina. Reva. Lots of people on here. Hey, Kay. My week was pretty good. Pretty good. I can't complain. Wednesday was a crazy day at work. We were insanely busy. And we had a few... Uh, mean patients that came in, you know, that just kind of ruin your night. But then last night was like the best night ever. It was just almost dead at work. So when it's really slow, then we can, um, you know, chit chat with the patients and it's so much more fun because we just have a good time and, um, you're not rushed and it was just a fun night. So, and, and we had a good time talking about some stories of, <laughs> Like the funniest thing that ever happened at work. <laughs> I can't tell you guys because it's uh, like a HIPAA violation, but <laughs> some of them were pretty uh, funny stories. Oh, Sharon, you got 102 yesterday. I think we were pretty close to that, like 90s. So anyway, we're going to cool off today with a Christmas card or five. We're going to do five of these because they're super simple. And um, this is one of those sheets that you get in the pack of paper, the new pack of paper. So if you're a demonstrator, you might have gotten this already. This is the Winter Meadow 12 by 12. And I showed it to you the other day, if you were watching the video the other day, and it is my favorite paper in the Holiday Mini, besides that, um, the autumn one that I used the other day. These, are, these two are my favorite. So this is just absolutely beautiful, like watercolory paper. If that's a word, I don't know. Um, so you've got the one side with the image on it. And then the back is kind of a um, just watercolory look. This is the piece I'm using today. So what I did was I just cut it right down the middle. And then put one on, si on top of the other one. And then just trimmed it down to five and a quarter um, off that top part. So I basically cut like this part off. And then I had this piece on top of this one. And then I cut it at four and... Um, four inches and four inches. So what happens with this one, they really did it um, neat because when you cut it at your four inches, you get one deer in each piece. So you get six of these. So I made one card already for the sample and we're gonna make the other five cards today. And then the back is just um, kind of a gray color. And then we've got this one. I don't know what those berries are, but I'm thinking either holly berries or mistletoe. I don't know. I think mistletoe is white though. Um, and then the back is that beautiful 
watercolor. I wish they had another pack of just this watercolor background paper because I hate to mess that. I like that back, but I like the front too. And then this one is so gorgeous, beautiful. And then that's pretty too. And then we've got this leafy one with the beautiful background on the back and more little berries that are so pretty. And that's a blueberry, I think that's blueberry, um, and I forgot the name of the color, blueberry bushel, I think. Oh, that piece is so pretty too. Gosh, this paper is beautiful. Oh, look at the back. Oh, man, it's just hard to decide which piece to use. So, I should have saved, well, actually, I can show you how I cut that piece, because I'll do it right now for you. So that way, you'll know exactly how to cut it. So, let me get my cutter. Okay, so, uh-oh, I just dropped something. All right, so if you cut this in half at six inches, and this, this, I can't remember if this is my old Stampin' Up! trimmer. So you get two pieces exactly the same. So now we want to trim this top part off at five and a quarter. So I'm going to trim it, oops, the other way. So put it at five and a quarter. And try to line this up there. Okay, so there we go. So we cut off this piece. So you can just save these little things for something else. All right, so now we've got um, five and a quarter this way, and we want to cut it at four inches and four inches. So let me put it at four inches. Now, oops, you can't even see that. I'm sitting here putting this on here. Oops, let me move it up so you can see what I'm doing. Sorry about that. So I cut it at six inches first, and then I turned it, did it at five and a quarter. Now we're gonna do it at four. So you get two, and then we're gonna put it at four again. And there you go. So now you've got six of these all ready to go. So then what I did was, I said, well, I think this would look good. Hold on, my keyboard, that's what I feel. Hopefully it's not gonna mess up anything. All right, we're just gonna leave that. I can't bend over that far. <laughs> so then I said, oh, I bet this would look really pretty embossed. So I put it through the new embossing thing with the snowflake. So first I did the whole entire one and I was kind of like, mm, I don't know if I like that. Let me grab one and I'll show you. So, Here's one that I embossed the whole entire thing with the snowflakes. And I was like, oh, I don't know if I like it down there. So I did two of them at the same time. So then I said, I think I'm just going to emboss just the top part. So then I did this here. So what I did was I put it in here like this. So you can see kind of where it stops. So I only went to like right there. So I just embossed that part. So I put it in the folder regular like that just stick it right in the middle and then when you put it through your embossing machine all you do is just put wherever you want it to emboss to just put this top piece the um cutting pad or the um I forget what this one's called number four plate the number four plate I'll turn it this way the number four plate put it wherever you want it to stop so that way, instead of covering the whole entire thing and embossing the whole thing, you're only going to emboss to say right there and then just run it through with your big, the thick one underneath. And that way it won't do anything with this piece because this is not all the way down. So that's how you get just the, um, the top done. So then when it comes out, the top part is embossed, the bottom part is not. So that's what I did with those. Oops, I'm not using these. So I've got two of them. I did the whole entire thing and the rest are um, halfway down. And this is the new Snowflake embossing folder. So I love that. It's kind of like our old one, except the old one just had the dots and now they've added the little snowflakes on there. So there you go. All right, so that is my card. And then this is the stamp set that goes with it and it's got dies. So you've got a bunch of dies, two sheets, 
of dies. Lots of really pretty ones. So you've got kind of the outside and the inside. So like, I think these two go together and this one and this one I think go together. I don't know about that one, that's by itself. Um, so there you go. And we're using a couple of stamps in here, which are really pretty. And I'll show you those in a minute. I got a little bit of happy mail. So let me show you that. Oh, let me read some comments too. I'm missing all these. Hey, Tony. Hey, Carol. Hey, Laura. Oh, Laura, your neighbor was kind and cut your grass while you were on vacation. Whew, I wish I had a neighbor like that or a kid or something. It's just, I don't mind cutting the grass if it's not hot, but it's just hot. Um, Reva, yes, this paper is gorgeous. I love it. Love it, love it. Okay. Oh, hey, Anya. How you doing, girl? All right, so this is a card I just got yesterday. This is from, um, oh, who's that from? Let's see, Darlene. This is from Darlene. She didn't put her last name on here. So Darlene, thank you for this one from Reedsville. Oh, wait a minute, I know what your last name is. Hold on, I can't remember now. I wanna say Erickson. But um, isn't that beautiful? So she just stamped on there and then embossed it. And it just came out so pretty. And then she did a Wink of Stella all over the flower. So it's beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. And then I got another one. Now this one I think I got like a week ago. And I just forgot to bring it in here. I just found it on the kitchen counter. So this one is from Marlo Rooney in Missouri. Um, and this is from the Paper Pumpkin Kit. That, well, this, just this uh, part of it is. So I thought this was really pretty with that country um, paper. What is that called? Country Blessings or something. Love it, love it. So thank you, Marlo, for that one. It's gorgeous. And then I got another one. Hold on. Oh, we got two more. All right, this one's from Twyla. I think I didn't show this yet. Nope. This one I love. Oh my gosh, it's just like my colors and it's just so pretty and I love this paper. And I love that stamp and I was like, I, I messaged her and I'm like, what stamp is that? I love it, I love it. And I thought it looked familiar, but um, it's retired. It was one of the celebration ones from um, like maybe a year ago and it was Calming Camellia and I love, love, love that stamp set, but it's retired. But I love this card and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So thank you, Twyla. I love it. And then she put a cute little doily in there. So thank you. And then one more. This one is from Andrea Wellman. And this is using, um, oh, what is that die from? Oh, shoot. Expressions and in, Expressions in Ink, maybe. One of those. Or Artistically Inked, I think. It comes with that set. Love it. Love it. I haven't used this in a long time either. And I love that. I don't know why I don't use that more often. So gorgeous cards. I just love, love, love them. Love getting happy mail. Um, also, don't forget the card kit. So you've only got a few more days. So till the 15th, which is Tuesday. And then Tuesday, I'm going to have a brand new kit. So this is your last chance to get, oops, there's four of these. I took one. We did this in class the other day. So I took that one of them in the other room but you'll get a kit to make four of these not three you'll get four plus the napkin and um everything to go with it please make sure you use that host code to get the um card kit if your order's over fifty dollars and then if your order's over a hundred dollars you'll get the gems also and you'll get entered in to win the um mystery box giveaway so i've got another mystery box i'm giving away and it's a big box full of like 200 and some dollars worth of stuff. And um, so I've already given two of those away. And you can also order them if you want. Just if you're interested in ordering one, you can. But if you want to try and win one, just order $100 or more. And you get entered for every $100. So if you order $200, you get two entries. If you do $300, you get three entries and so on. So on Tuesday... Well, I guess I can't pick it Tuesday because I got to wait till the end of the day, make sure all the orders are in. So um, we'll draw the name and um, get another winner. And then I think I probably will have another one for the end of the month too. So um, 
lots of stuff to get. And you know what I just realized? I forgot to bring cards to give away today. Darn it. So I have to do that Tuesday too. All right, so that's the card kit, but you get four of those with the napkin. All right, so let's get down to stamping. We're gonna do some fast stamping today. So here's what you need. Oh, I've got a, a trick to show you with the punch too. So if you guys have this punch, I'm gonna show you a fun trick to do with it. So we have got, let's see, the back piece is five and a half by eight and a half basic gray. And then we've got white, five and a quarter by four for the inside. So we're making five cards. And then the front piece, five and a quarter by four of the designer paper. And that's the one I just showed you. Five of these punches. And then this piece right here, which goes behind the winter. That was kind of a last minute thing. I thought I need something behind that just to pop it up and um, contrast the color a little bit. So I just grabbed some scraps. This are one inch scraps of the basic gray that I had and I just ripped it. So I just put um, this piece like on top of it and I just kind of ripped both sides of it. So no measurements really, it's kind of just take the punch, lay it down and do about a half an inch on either side. So I just have one left to do. So I just set it like this and said, okay, I need to rip about right there. So there we go. And then you just want just a little bit on either side and that'll just give you that pop of color. You could probably do it a little bit shorter if you want to. Um, okay, so they should all be about the same, and I'm guessing this is about, um, let me see, these are three inches. Oh, oh look, it's three inches, so the post-its are three inches. So it's about three inches long. Doesn't have to be exact, though. So that is what you need, plus some ribbon, and the ribbon I've got is this one. It's silver and white. It's a new one and I love it. And I cut it in half lengthwise. So I'm gonna show you how I did that in a minute. So there you go. Um, yes, really happy mail. Let me see if I missed anybody. Thanks, Sherry. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Starla. How you, how you doing? You like the top embossed? Yes. Um, I thought that was good because I did the whole entire sheet and I was like, oh, I don't want the deer to be embossed. So that's why I went back and just did the top half. So two of the sheets, I already embossed the whole thing. So they're already going to be embossed all the way down. But the rest of them, I just did the top part. Oh, Deborah, you got a storm. Your electricity and internet have been out. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Have you guys seen Hawaii? I just saw that I was on Facebook this morning and I saw the wildfires in Hawaii. I was like, oh my gosh. So everybody say a prayer for all those people in Maui that have lost their homes. And they said quite a few people have died in that, um, the fires and it is awful. They showed an aerial view and just like hundreds and hundreds of people have lost their houses and businesses and it's just awful. So I had no idea, but I just saw that um, right before the video, I was watching something and it popped up. All right, so hopefully you got a screenshot of that and we'll get started. So what we're gonna do, we don't really need the, those or this. Those just get glued down. So let's go ahead and just stamp the, what we're needing to stamp. So that would be the inside. I know I forgot to show you that. So this is the inside. So I just stamped that and the words. So it says, winter wishes, may this season of sparkle bring joy and delight. So there you go. And I'm gonna show you how to do that ribbon too. All right, so I don't think we need scrap paper today to put under anything. So I'm gonna start with smoky slate, which is the lighter gray. And that's what we're gonna use for the inside and the front piece. So we're just gonna ink that up and just put it right here. And this is the inside of the card. And that, that's just a beautiful stamp, I love it. 
I love these um, distinctive stamps that have the the different textures and you know how some are light, some are dark, and I love how they do that. Whoops, I got two in there. So this is a beautiful stamp. Masculine birthday card. Yes, this would make a masculine birthday card. Just change the sentiment. This would be good like if you have a husband who likes to hunt or um, something like that. That would make a great birthday card. All right, so that's it for that one. Then we're gonna take um, our words for the inside. So this is the inside words. And it says, may this season of sparkle bring joy and delight. So, oops, wrong pad. I need the dark one. You know what, while we're, we're still with this pad, I think I'm gonna do this little part. So then I can put the pad away. So we're gonna do this stamp, which is another one similar to the one I just did, but it's smaller and it has those little trees again. So we're gonna stamp this right on the bottom of where the front words are gonna go. Isn't that beautiful? I love it, love it. And it's in the light gray still, the smoky slate. So this, this is just a quick and easy card. The hardest part of this card is doing that ribbon. And I debated whether to do that or not, but it just makes such a difference on the card. It's so pretty. Because I did it without the ribbon, and I was like, ah, oh, this was too plain. Okay, so that's with the light smoky slate. That was those two. Now we're going to do the dark one, which is basic gray. So for the inside, we've got the long words. And this is a brand new pad I just opened up, so it's super juicy. So we're just gonna very lightly stamp that. Love it. Love it. And one more. I love making multiple cards at once. I think it's like it's just so fun. Okay, so now we're gonna put the words on here. So we've got five of these. And you just whip these cards out and they take like five minutes a piece. So again, we're stamping really, really lightly. I uh, just kinda want this right over top of that. Oh, I messed it up, darn it. Uh, we're gonna have to turn it over. I don't know what happened with that, hold on. Got to redo it. Let me get my smoky slate back out. Good thing I have two sides to the paper. I'll put that back there again. I have an extra one of these too if I mess up again. <laughs> Hopefully I won't, I won't screw it up again. Okay, I don't know why that didn't get inked. Weird. All right, let's try that one more time. Right in the middle there. Better, much better. We'll double ink just to make sure. Okay. See, even I screw it up sometimes, so nobody's perfect. So if you ever mess up, just flip it over and start it again. And there you go. All right, so, oh, and then you know what I like to do? You know what I like to do? Do you see what I did? I dipped it, so I rolled this in the ink pad. So I just kind of rolled it back, rocked it back and forth, and then turn it, rock it, turn it, rock it, and rock it. So then you get that edge. See the difference? I love it. Love it, just try not to get your fingers in it. So we're rocking, rocking, and you can always do it again if you don't get enough ink. But you don't want it to sit too long in there because it just kind of soaks right into the paper. But I love how that gives it uh, just an edge around it. This is like my new favorite little trick with um, labels and stuff because it kind of almost looks like there's a back piece to it, but it's not. 
and it only takes a second to do it and it just makes a difference but this is a funny shape so it's <laughs> it's kind of just getting the edges but I think it looks really cool so you just keep on rocking it and turn it and rock it and there you go and one more all right I'm gonna show you we're gonna just stop for a second I'm gonna show you a trick with this punch because I saw this I don't even remember where I saw it it was one of those um reels that just popped up on my Facebook thing and I was like oh my gosh that's the coolest thing so I had to play it like five times to um see how she did it all right so there's my oh I'm gonna ink on myself so there's my little words so now everything's ready to just put together so I want to show you how you do this so you need a couple punches let me punch out three so we're gonna punch out three of these. Okay, and here's what you're gonna do. All right, so for the first one, so you have the original punch, this is the original punch. Now you can stick it in, line up your um, bumps like this on the edge and then punch it. So now you've made another punch. I know you probably can't see that. Let me turn this over so you can see it. So we've got this one and we've got the original one and then you're going to take it and turn it around the other way and you can make um, one let me see how did I do the next one I forgot wait a minute okay it's bigger all right so we're gonna move it over just a little bit like that and put the little divot in there right in the middle so like that so now you've got this one all right now we're going to take the punch and go the other direction so we're going to go long ways this one's harder so you need a little handle hold on I just threw that away let's cut a little handle to help us so whenever you can't stick the punch in there like that just get a little piece of scrap paper put some tape on it and then hold it like that so now you've got a little handle so we're gonna do the same thing so we're gonna do our little um, bubble here line that whoops I don't have my glasses on some I probably should do that I put my glasses on uh oh there they are. <laughs> I thought I lost them <laughs> okay all right now I can see all right, so we're gonna line up these little bubbles here and there you go all right so there's another punch and then we're gonna turn this around like that and we're gonna do another one and make it bigger so this one we're gonna put it in that little divot there and line it up oops and boom so now you've got five different punches from one punch so you've got a skinny long one a skinny short one a kind of a medium short one and a medium long one so you get all those punches from this one punch is that cool oh you saw that real oh Reva saw it too I know I said oh. so I did it in vanilla so here's the vanilla ones so you get them all so I did them all before so there they are in vanilla so you could pop a bunch of those out ahead of time and just have all these little things for a different size words for you so I thought that was a really great idea and I cannot remember who did it or I would give her credit but it was a great little video if anybody knows tell me and I will certainly give her credit for it all right so let's go back to our card so we're just going to put all this together now and I don't think I need my glasses anymore learn that technique from you oh yeah oh <laughs> oh the edging of the ink yes I love that I know so it's like five punches in one isn't that the coolest thing does anybody remember who did it originally I can't I can't remember it does look like a pillow rock and roll yes I love the rock and roll technique with the 
edges. I think that just makes such a difference on those punches. All right, so these go on the inside, so we'll do that first. Just put our glue on the back. I'm hoping I don't get in the camera over here because <laughs> I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I took my shirt off. <laughs> I was sitting here and my shirt was soaking wet and the fans on. I was starting to get cold. I was like, I gotta take this shirt off. So I don't want to flash you guys. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Never a dull moment on Lisa's channel. Never know what you're gonna get. It's like Forrest Gump says, it's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get inside. And I love the green glue for glue and stuff. Did anybody try the napkin cards from Last week, or was that a week? That was a little bit more than a week ago. We did it in class the other day and everybody loved it. Loved embossing the napkins. I think that makes a big difference. And these go together so fast. Okay, I was so bad last night. I left work because we, we were done early because we um, were not very busy. So I got off early, so I went by the grocery store. And Food Line, I don't know if you guys have Food Line. It's more of a, I think, an East Coast place. Um, they had these cinnamon honey bun donuts on sale, four for $2.00. And they looked so good. And I was like, oh, man. And I walked past them. And I was like, mm, I probably shouldn't. But I did. <laughs> and then I woke up this morning to go mow the grass. And I said, well, I better eat something before I go out there. So I had two of them. And they were just like melting in your mouth so good. They were probably, I would say, as good as a Krispy Kreme donut. But they had cinnamon swirl in it. And it was so good. And then I mowed the grass and I came inside. I was like, yeah, I need something else for breakfast. So did I make something healthy? No, I didn't. I ate the rest of those donuts. So I have four donuts for breakfast. So unhealthy. <laughs> so I better eat a salad for my other meal today. <laughs> eat something healthy today. This is one that got all the way down. So see, I don't like that. I probably could try and flatten it back out, but I don't know. I like it. I'd like it much better just on half of the paper. Okay. All right, so there we go. So on here, I think I did this a little bit too high because the ribbon's coming out. So I'm gonna just lower that just a little bit for these. So these are just going to go about right there. And we'll just glue it right down. See, once you get everything stamped, you can whip these things out like so fast. So we'll put it about right there. Just make sure it's straight. And I liked the torn piece on top, like showing. So I always try to get that one facing up. And oops. And you can move this over if you want to. This one's not sticking. Okay, there we go. Yesterday I went to work and um, one of the girls at work, her dad is like the best cook and so she brought me this big pan of eggplant Parmesan and um, it was like enough for about four meals. And so I took her the container back yesterday and filled it with a whole bunch of goodies. And she's a gluten-free kind of person. So I had to find all gluten-free. So I put nuts and like gummy stuff and 
I just filled it up with goodies. And so then I, you know, I felt like I couldn't just give stuff to her and not anybody else. I took some more little, these Welch's gummy things. I took a whole bag and just was giving them out at work. And one girl, I just kind of walked up behind her and just kind of left them on her desk while she, she didn't, she was checking a patient and so she didn't see me. And then she comes running out and she was like, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I said, wow, it's just so amazing. Just doing little things like that, just, you know, make somebody's day. Cause she's like, I was just craving something like this. And she said, I was hungry and I didn't bring anything for lunch. And she said, I just want some sugar or something. And she said, and you just put those on my desk. <laughs> oh, Carol says, Krispy Kreme doesn't count. They just melt in your mouth without you even having to eat. Them. That's true. Yep. If only that were true. <laughs> Which catalog is the punch from? The punch is in the big catalog, the regular catalog. I forget what it's called. It's, um... I think it's something label punch. Anybody remember the name of that punch? Um, something label, but I can't remember what. My kind of gal, salad is eaten out of guilt. <laughs> I probably should eat nothing the rest of the day except make it protein shake. <laughs> We have this place here called Salad Works. I don't know if you guys have it, but it's like the best salads ever. And I think that's where I'm gonna go get a salad because they have such good ones. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is the ribbon. So what I did was I took this ribbon. So this is what it looks like. And I, it, I decided it was too fat. So I cut it down the middle. And I didn't really measure this. I kind of just made a couple loops in my fingers and kind of said, okay, that's good. And cut it. So, so then I get these um, thinner pieces. So I've got five of these. And, uh oh, there's one. Here's the other one. All right, so now we've got all this ribbon here. So we're gonna stick these on. And what I do is I put tape on the back to stick it down on. And I kind of start on one corner and kind of try to get it going diagonally and make a loop. And it's really sticky on the back. And then put it, <laughs> my fingers are sticking. And then make another loop, another loop. And just keep going because you want four loops. And then um, there you go. Got this little piece I don't like there. And then you want to just cut that at an angle. Oops. All right. So I might need a little bit more tape on the back of that. To hold it and then I just take some dimensionals wait I got some here there we go all right and then put your dimensionals on here and I try to overlap the ribbon a little bit with a dimensional and get it to stick better so there's one now we're gonna do that five more times so Hopefully by the time we finish, you'll be a pro at it. All right, so again, you're gonna start like on the diagonal, go up, loop it. <laughs> My fingers are stinking so bad. All right, so I got a funny joke for you guys today. And if you need to, I can put some more tape on this like now. Oops, I just messed it up. Hold on. Miss that one. There we go. <laughs> this is a really sticky thing. All right. And there. This piece is a little bit longer. Okay. So make sure it's good and stuck. And trim that off. All right. And then we're going to put dimensionals on that. Let me just go ahead and do the ribbon all first and that's the one I messed up yep so 
So let's see if I can read some comments. Oh, lasting label punch. It's lasting label 158651. There you go. Thank you guys for looking that up. Doesn't it fray? It frays a little bit, but not really bad. I mean, there's a couple little loose ones, but it's not too bad. We have this um, demonstrator. Her name's Tammy Wilson, and she's like the bow queen. She makes these bows, and she always cuts the ribbon in half. That's where I originally got the idea to oops, cut ribbon in half like that. She always cuts the ribbon in half and makes these gorgeous bows. And um, she was on the design team for Stampin' Up, like the artisan design team. But she makes these killer bows. And, oops, that one got too fat. Okay. And you can always adjust these, you know, if you don't like your bows. I think that one needs a little bit of ah! tape. Stick it down. Ah. It's so sticky. Oops, that one's coming off. Okay. <laughs> it's not cooperating. All right, once you stick it down, it'll be fine. All right, then we got a couple more. You can see how sticky it is on my fingers. <laughs> oh, love live TV. Just catches everything, see? You won't see this on some channels because they, they edit this all out. But you always get the... The funny moments from mine. Okay. You know what would help is if I have tape. I would let me get my tape out. Oh, gosh. I can just put a piece of tape on top and hold it down. There we go. That works better. Oops. Got a little frayed version. All right. And put tape on the back of these to hold them down. That way they'll definitely stay. Okay, one more. Luckily I just had the tape in the drawer there. All right, so we're gonna do a loop. And a loop. I love this ribbon, it's so pretty. Pretty without cutting it, but I think when you cut it, it just makes it more delicate looking. Hold on. There we go. All right, and then trim. Oh, I forgot to trim that one. Trim that. All right, I'll put a piece of tape on that. All right, now it's really good and down there, and then trim that. Okay, so now we've got all these. So that's the hardest part of the whole card. So if you don't want to do that, you don't have to do it. But I think it does make a big difference in how it looks. So let's do the dimensionals on the back of here. You are who? No shirt. Oh, you guys didn't get a, a, a peek, did you? I'm trying not to lean in too much because <laughs> I don't want you to get a, a flash. <laughs> I do have a bra on. <laughs> so it really just looks like I have a bathing suit top. But I don't want to flash you guys. But I was so hot. And I'm telling you, I'm a sweater. I don't know about you guys, but when I walk outside and it's hot, I just start sweating like before I even start doing anything. And by the time I finish mowing the grass, I'm like, my, my shirt, you could just wring water out of it or sweat. So, oops, I don't need any more. Okay. All right, so now we're going to put all these on. I love um, watching the people who just take their little, take your pick tool and just pop these off like they're so easy. 
All right, so just put that down right in the middle of each one. And then we're gonna do some Wink Stella and some Shimmer Spray and some, I think I'm gonna do one more dimensional in the middle and some gems and then we'll be done. So these cards probably took more than 20 minutes. I just said 20 minutes, but if you didn't have to do this ribbon, it would really be like no time at all. That's the one I got ink on. We might need to put a gem or something right on top of that. But these, um, you know what? You could sit in front of the TV and watch TV and make all these little label bow things. That's just like mindless. Like when I have to color stuff, I go sit and watch TV. Oh my gosh, I started watching the funniest TV show. Well, it wasn't a, like a TV show. It's on Netflix. And it's a comedy about girls who are a little bit on the plumper side. And it's called like, um, I think it's called In the Thick of It or something. But it's about this girl and she's like a, um, a stylist at a modeling agency place. And... She's probably my size, you know, on the plumper side. But she styles, like, the models and everything. She picks out, you know, like, what they're going to wear and all their um, outfits and accessories and everything. She's really, really good at what she does. And then she finds out her boyfriend um, is cheating on her. He's the photographer. And so it's just about her life. But she's, like, the funniest girl. She kind of reminds me of myself. And, um, but it's just so funny because she's got, like, so much um, just spunk and, uh, you know, sense of humor. And it's just a really funny, cute little show. And it's on Netflix. But I think, I think it is called In the Thick of It, but I'm not positive. But check it out. It is hysterical. I watched the first three episodes, and it was really, really funny. All right, so now what we're going to do is put some gems. So I grabbed these silver um, pearls. These are from the, oh, uh, what is it called? I didn't bring the pack of them. Okay, so help me out. They come in gold, silver, red, and green. They're from last year's Holiday Mini. And I forget what they're called. They are one of my favorite accessories though look it up but I'm gonna let you guys look it up anybody remember oh check your comments okay wait a minute, wait a minute. cute easy card there he is the papers from the new mini catalog yes not available unless you're a demonstrator yep survival of the thickest that's what it is survival of the thickest I knew it was thick 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 was in there somewhere um it is just the funniest show has anybody else have watched it yet it's so funny. Festive pearls. That's what it is. Festive pearls. All right. So we'll put three on each one. And then we're going to do some shimmer. And then we'll be done. And you guys can have the whole rest of the day to stamp. Because it's too hot to do anything else. Oh, we got to cover this right there. You can always cover your mistakes with pearls or gems or something else. If you get some ink on your paper, don't throw it away. Just cover it with something. Oops, I did that one. I love these. They're just so pretty and it matches my ribbon and gives it a little bling bling. All right, so now we got those done. All right, so now we've got Wink of Stella. So we're gonna take the Wink of Stella and just splatter it all over um, the card. All right, so what I like to do is just grab something to hit it on. You can tell this one I use a lot to hit it because it's got a lot of Wink of Stella. So the key is holding it at the end of your Wink of Stella, and then you wanna tap it at the front of your Wink of Stella on here. And you do it pretty hard. 
Isn't that pretty? Can you see it? Gorgeous. So I'm just kind of like giving it a floppy hit like this. People always want to come and do this like this. That's not going to work. So you got to hold it at the end and just let it like flop on there. Kind of like you're playing the drums. If any of you guys have ever played the drums, kind of the same thing. But you don't hold it up here, you hold it back here. Look at how shimmery my paper's getting. One more. So the Wink of Stella gives it some big splatters, and then I'm gonna do some shimmer spray to give it just all over shimmer. Whoops. All right, so let me hold this up and see if you guys can see it. Let me get one that's got a lot of good ones. Here's one. So hopefully you can see all that shimmer on there. I don't know. Hmm, there's so much, but it's not showing up on the camera. Um, why would you do Wink of Stella and Shimmer Spray? Um, <laughs> you sound like a woodpecker. <laughs> Shut up, Vicky. <laughs> I just told you why. So the Wink of Stella gives you like the bigger splatters and it's all over splatter. The Shimmer Spray gives you just an even coat of shimmer on the whole card. So it gives you like double shimmer. So you'll have like a subtle shimmer and then you have the splatters too. So I like both. You don't have to do both. But I think the more shimmer you have, the better. So there you go. So here are all the cards. So, ta-da. So there we go. So, I hope you liked that. And don't forget, we've got a joke, so don't go yet. Gotta tell you my joke. Let me read some comments real quick. There isn't enough sparkle in the world. See, Debbie, you are right. Um, looking forward to my joke. Yep, that's a funny one. Uh, let's see. No mistakes, only room for embellishments. That's right. <laughs> Vicky says, I can't stamp because I'm still in my Jerry Springer apartment. <laughs> Vicky has a bunch of weirdos in her apartment complex that she has a, a whole soap opera going on. Uh, let's see. All right. Hopefully uh, everybody got their questions answered. Vicky, oh, V. Bueller said, or Buller says, I can't cut straight. I tried twice, once. Oh, and it was a disaster. You can't cut straight. What? Like the punch trick. Okay. I think I got most of the questions. All right, so you ready for the joke? Here you go. I think I may have told this before because I know I've seen this joke before, but I can't remember if I told it or not, but somebody just sent it to me. Who sent this one? Uh, it doesn't say who sent it, I can't remember. Somebody sent it to me, but I can't remember who it was. Um, okay. A man boarded a plane and took his seat. As he settled in, he glanced up and saw the most beautiful woman boarding the plane. He soon realized she was heading straight towards his seat. As fate would have it, she took the seat right beside his. Eager to strike up a conversation, he blurted out, business trip or pleasure? She turned, smiled, and said, business. I'm going to the annual Nymphomaniacs of America convention in Boston. He swallowed hard. Here was the most gorgeous woman he had ever seen sitting next to him, and she was going to a meeting of nymphomaniacs. Struggling to maintain his composure, he calmly asked, What's your business at this convention? Lecturer, she responded, I use information that I have learned from my personal experiences to debunk some of the popular myths about sexuality. Really, he said, and what kind of myths are there? Well, she explained, one popular myth is that African-American men are the most well-endowed of all men, when in fact, it's the Native American Indian who is most likely to possess that trait. 
Another popular myth is that Frenchmen are the best lovers, when actually it is the men of Mexican descent who are the best. I have also discovered that the lover with the absolutely best stamina is the southern redneck. Suddenly, the woman became a little uncomfortable and blushed. I'm sorry, she said. I shouldn't really be discussing all of this with you. I don't even know your name. The man said, Tonto, Tonto Gonzalez, but my friends call me Bubba. <laughs> So he's all three. <laughs> he's Indian, Mexican, and redneck. <laughs> I thought that was cute. I have seen that joke before, but um, I couldn't remember if I told it before, so I thought I would do it again if I have, but um, I hope you like that one. So there we go. We are all done. I hope you enjoyed that. Sorry, I forgot to bring some cards today, but I will bring some on Tuesday. Oh yeah, don't forget thumbs up. We've only got 72 and 150 people watching, so do some thumbs up. Hearts, like, comment, share, all that good stuff for me. And um, I hope you guys are not as hot as we are here and you can enjoy your Saturday. And oh, somebody said, what is the shimmer spray? The shimmer spray is 70% um, rubbing alcohol mixed with the Champagne Mist um, Shimmer Paint that we used to sell with Stampin' Up, but now if you um, don't have any left from when we had it, there's a link underneath the um, video that um, where you can find it. And then you just mix the two together. And I've got a bunch of different videos that have it um, that I show how to do it. Um. <laughs> oh, Vicki says, my husband's a redneck from Kentucky. <laughs> So we know what you're doing, Vicky. <laughs> Go tell him the joke. <laughs> all right, you guys. I hope you all have a great day. I'll see you back on Tuesday with a new card kit. And don't forget, if you want to order the card kit from this time, um, it's four of these napkin card supplies. And that's with $50 or more order. Don't forget the host code. And if you do $100 or more, you get the pearls and get entered to win the mystery box drawing. So um, I'll see you in a couple days. Have a great weekend. Take care, everybody. And um, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.